thanks to Pete Santilli for reminding me. I didn't know Larry was still active. He is, uh, he's an amazing American and has been involved with the Clintons and the Clinton legend, as it were, for a long, long time. Larry was involved with the uh, ADFA story. He was involved with the Clintons. He was involved with all kinds of things in Arkansas and in the White House as well. And he's still at it, and I'm really glad to welcome him back to the program. Welcome back, Thank Larry. You, Thank you. Welcome for having me. And I am, I'm really uh, glad you're back. We, what we're looking at here, the Clintons, they just won't go away. And what I nope. wanted to talk to you about tonight is, uh, is Hillary, obviously, and her uh, in, intent, it would seem, to finally ascend to the throne that she felt was rightfully hers in the past and probably still does. What's, what's your view of Hillary Clinton today, Larry? Where is she? Hillary is nine million times smarter. She is uh, well-traveled, well-versed. She's more qualified to be president than Bill was, but she is still Hillary. Now, here's what's going to happen, if mm -hmm. you want me to tell you. Oh, I do. <laughs> remember, remember, I wrote the book, The Genie Out of the Bottle. That's right. Dick Morris, Paul Begala, me, later, uh, James Carville. We were the team that put together the system that kept Bill Clinton elected governor five times, mm -hmm. and then it's the one he used to win the presidency and to hold it. Yes. When Hillary ran against Obama, she broke the rules. She was so arrogant, she broke the rules. Number one rule is kill them early. Now, what that means is when you're fixing to get an opponent, go out there and get rid of them. Get rid of them. Now, I don't mean literally. We didn't mean literally kill them. She made that mistake. She lost. Now, she's doing it right. I hear everybody saying she's coming out. Jeff, she's coming out so early. How stupid. Let me tell you what she's doing. She's sucking all the money up. She is oh, sucking yeah. every bit of the money right now. Very interesting. You might, notice, yeah. you might notice she's quiet right now. She's got a problem. Benghazi. Jeff, you remember this rule? Remember the old rope-a-dope we had? Oh, sure. <laughs> We'd tell Bill, you know, he'd get out there and mess up and get caught. We'd say, go to rope-a-dope. Get in your corner. Let them beat on you, but just shut up. And you know what? In time, there'll be a tornado, a hurricane, an earthquake. Six, eight weeks later, come back out and everybody will have forgotten. She's using all of this junk going on now, which is totally an act. She's using all of this to keep quiet. And by the time we get through the Obamacare, the budget battle, and all this other stuff, the American people have forgotten about Benghazi, and then she will be the power. Hillary is is being advised by whom? Who's who's strategizing for her? If she's doing that well now, probably Begala, probably Carvel. Now get in here with us. We got to beat that nigga. We're going to get Hillary in. We're going to get Hillary in. I said, hey, I ain't in. I'm out. Well, wow. but Jeff, I'm not going to get to be out. You see, I don't want to be in it again. I fought one president. You know how bad that was. That took a, that took so much out of you, Larry. I, I I don't know how many programs we did. We did a lot of programs, and and I you bet. I beatings, knew. Yeah. Oh yeah. The killings. Too too many. I I don't know what the ultimate death list turned out to be, but probably close Around to a hundred. Well, around me, that I, and I'm not saying the Clintons killed them, folks. No, Don't we never did. We never did. But they died about to testify or to come forward with me, and it was 52. So most More of them, people, yeah, just for our listeners, most of them were tied with you uh, in some way, shape, or form. All of them. All of them. Oh, my. And they all died. All of them died mysterious deaths, like shooting themselves in the back of the head twice with a shotgun. Yeah, yeah. Cutting their member, cutting their hands and their feet off, setting their yes, on fire and throwing I themselves remember. in the dump. Yeah. So yeah. Now, for those of you that say, "Well, gosh, you say you didn't say the Clintons did that," you got to remember the Clintons. Hillary Clinton's daddy was Hugh Rodham. Who was Hugh Rodham? Hugh Rodham, and the former. 
House Ways Speaker, uh, Ways and Means Speaker, Dan Roskinkowski, a guy that I testified and got put in prison. Dan Roskinkowski and Hugh Rodham took over the Chicago mob from the Capone organization. Oh, really? That's why Bill wanted Hillary because he had the mob money. That's why whenever you mentioned Bill Clinton during those days, what did you talk about? Dan Laster, cocaine. Mina, cocaine. Tyson, cocaine. Yeah. The wow. boys on the track, cocaine. Well, those people made a lot of money with the Clinton being president. And you can bet they'd like to have their turn again in that tower. How does the uh, Hillary camp feel about Obama? And what was, now you say she lost to Obama. Was a deal cut back then, Larry? I, 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 I trust you more than anybody on this. Was a deal cut with her? So, okay, yeah. Hillary, you sit out for eight yeah. years, you can get it? Yeah. I mean, they had to have Bill in the general election. Yeah. And that was the deal. They cut Hillary in. It was a deal. Made her Secretary of State, gave her independence. She went out, built her track record, and that's what it was all about. Kev, let me say to your audience, I'll just get one thing clear. I'm the meanest son of a bitch you've ever known. I've done everything you can imagine, broke every commandment. A lot. So don't think I'm a good guy. Mm -hmm. I, Never I, know, I, I know who you are. But, and I did the stuff for the Clintons. Folks, all I can tell you is the truth. And it ain't pretty. It's not what pretty. Gonna do? Yeah. No, and it's not going to be pretty when she gets there. And when she walks in with the legacy left by Obama, remember, she tried to get Obamacare. How do the Clintons feel about the Oreo cookie in the White House right now? They hate him. Chicago, they hate him. Chicago money, Chicago, Chicago mob. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he just, he dropped the, excuse the term, he dropped the turd in the buttermilk of their whole world. Mm-hmm. Come up from Chicago, took over support of Chicago, put his guy back in Chicago. I mean, yeah, they hate him. But he will be history. He will be history. But the stuff he's leaving, mm -hmm. he's going to leave Hillary king or queen, and she will she will take the power. And folks, Bill Clinton will tell you. I mean, look, Bill Clinton was an inch deep in a mile wide. But he'll tell you, Hillary's the meanest woman you'll ever meet in your life, the meanest yeah. person. Just ask Vince and Foster, to, right? If he, if he ask, to. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but that, look, go to Benghazi. Those four guys died. What did you see her say? Hey, come on. They're dead. That's right. what she thinks of life. Well, look at how she reacted to the, uh, the brutal butchery of Muammar Gaddafi. I mean, come on. She was yeah. damn near laughing out loud. I mean, that's that's what I'm saying. People have no idea what you're fixing to get. Lori, how's her health? Probably fine. She's too mean to be otherwise. Yeah, I, I assure you, if she had any condition at all, it would be highly publicized. Uh -huh. And if she did have a condition, yeah. she'd probably make sure whoever found out about it never practiced medicine again. She's uh, beyond vindictive, this woman. She you is. Can't tell me about. It. Ask me about it. <laughs> she's uh. Well, I know she she she's a killer. Uh, she, in a heartbeat. Yeah. Now she uh, might not do it, but give her control of the CIA. Give her control of yeah rogue government groups. Sure. Independent contractors that we've got today. Yeah. You telling me? You can look in that woman's eyes and figure it out and look at her some of her reactions. It's all there, right there. Now, the reason they have fought for health care when he was president, uh -huh. is you see, health care is the key to breaking the people down. When Hillary gets to be president, uh -huh. if this thing's not stopped, and 
you, you got to be careful to figure out how to stop it because of the traitors that are Republicans. Mm-hmm. If it's not stopped, she's going to walk into the perfect government, Jeff. For her. People are going to be trying to live on 20 hours or 29 hours at $7 an hour. Well, it's still worker bee. Communist worker bee deal. Central Committee. Central Committee has worker bees, right? When worker bees get old, what do they do? You know, the only worker bees are productive ones, right? Please listen to me. They say there's no such thing as death panels. Yeah. And you get rid of the old worker bees and you keep only the productive ones. Well, she's going to, you're right, she's going to step in the machine that she will drive mm-hmm. this country to wherever she wants to. Wow. And you know what will be left when she gets there? A handful of ultra-rich Gates and whoever. That's why I say, watch out. She's walking in to the most perfect scenario for the most perfect animal witch to ever have. You know, it, it would take a saint to take over after Obama. And then somebody really had to be a saint to step in. Right. She's not a saint. She will use it. Well, you know, we've got maybe one chance. One chance in a million, which yeah. is the Tea Party. Genuine grassroots, some real people wanting to do some real work to try to do something to this country and take it out of the hands of the machine. But there, there's no direction. I mean, no. people know things are wrong. God love them. You know, the only thing going to save America, technically, is what happened in Egypt. People just going to have to get out in the street. You know, and, people are just going to have to recall. Well, they're going to have to get yeah. out in the street, literally, and die. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, well, well, the Americans I mean, don't. It might, it might come to that. I mean, they're going to suffer. But you're going to have to get out there, and you're going to have to make such a scene. Yeah. And you're Ma- have mass to civil disobedience. They, they, but the American people, Larry, they don't have it, I, in my view. Mm-mm. Maybe 20 yeah. years ago, there was a flicker. It's gone. They're drugged out. This social engineering and mass programming is so incredibly efficient now. It's a science. They know what they're doing with the public. They got this public so handheld, it's unbelievable. So, you know, Jeff, that's all of these people, uh, Limbaugh and uh, what's his name with Fox, you know, they call it, you know, get ready, you're fixing to be the number one talk show guest in America again because Hillary's coming and you'll be everywhere. And, you know, and I said, get real. You know, now my problem is I got three choices. Tell the truth. I said, that's what I told Roger Hales. I said, Roger, I'm going to do, I'm not going to get in. Mm-hmm. He said, well, you got three choices. Tell the truth mm-hmm. about Hillary. Mm-hmm. And I said, yeah, I do that. I get attacked again. And by the way, if it hadn't been for radio stations, I'd have been killed a million times. Stations like yours, programs oh, I like yours. I, I know. I know that. He said, number two, lie and say she's great. And I said, well, that ain't happening because wouldn't anybody believe me. And he said, three nickels, just say no comment. And I said, yeah, Roger, that'll work. I've done that before. I've got whole stories printed in every major publication in the free world. As if I talk to a reporter, and you know, Jeff, I never even talk to the reporter. Front page of every paper, folks, in the free world. Not true. So, I guess I'm in a box. My question to you is, and God knows the door here is always open for you, but, you know... Here's what I'm going to say to you, Jeff. Yeah. I can beat the bitch. Remember, I have things on her that there is no statute of limitation. And I can prove them. That's why they leave you alone. Remember, with Bill Clinton, pound for pound, I hope you would say what I told you turned out to be true, didn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. 